Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now for November 27th to December 3rd and this is for the sign of Taurus. Now this is a weekly love reading. It is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may not resonate for you as it's not a private reading, okay? Some of it may and some of it may not. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video or join or watch some of my let's talks, whatever. Um, and let's just go. I will zoom this in and just for a moment. And this is for the sign of Taurus. Two of Cups. Ooh. Zoom that in before we go on. All right, so the basis of your reading is the hermit reversed, okay? It appears that many of you have probably been in a period of isolation and you may just be deciding to step outside of your shell. This may be the week you do it. Um, you may have come to a point where you're ready to just get out there. You're no longer going to stay by yourself or secluded or whatnot. You may feel like, you know, it's time for you to open up, all right? Um, you are, I think many of you have been, have received like this clarity and it may have just come all of a sudden like, you know what, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for my new chapter. I'm ready for the next phase of my life. And you're just like, woo, ready to go. It feels like you are just screaming out, I'm ready. Here I am. Come and get me. All right. Because I mean, you're just like screaming out, I'm ready. I'm ready for the next phase. Okay, there's no more hiding. It's like you're coming out of hiding this week. You've mo moved to a much better place emotionally. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. I think a relationship has ended for somebody. I'm not sure who. Something came crumbling down so that something much better could come in. If you are single, a love could come into your life this week. It's, uh could end up being a soulmate. You never know, and it could bring you a lot of happiness. Um, but you're, you know, you're going to have to really be open to it. Okay. So this person is not your usual type and this person is going to love you for who you are. Okay. They don't care what you look like. They don't care what you do for a living. They, they love you. They're going to love you for who you are. You see, this is the, this is the two of cups. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you look like. The love is going to be there. Okay, so and it could lead to a happy relationship. All right, um, don't be afraid to communicate. All right, be open to communicating, be open to giving this person your time. Okay, because you're gonna have to give time to it, you know. And you may feel at first like you know, like you're scared to communicate, but don't. Okay, communicate. All right. Um, sometimes you have to take a risk, and I think that you may be afraid to take a risk, but this is telling me that you should take a risk. All right, take a risk. See what happens. What could it hurt? All right. Um, I feel like you guys have just gone through a process of healing, and I, you're at a point now where that you know the happiness is in your hands, so you have to take action. So many of you are definitely stepping outside of your shell, and you're ready to take the risk. It's like you're you're you've completed one lesson, you've completed one phase of your life when the world card comes out. Okay? So you've completed something. Celebrate that success as hard as it was, even if you learned the hard way, celebrate it as a success because now it's time to start your new chapter, okay? Um new love is coming. I mean, love and if you are a couple, then there could be a resurgence in the relationship where your love your um your love life um, steps it up a notch, okay? Because it just feels like there's a deep, deep connection coming in this week, 
okay? Could be singles or for couples, where you're just like feeling very excited, um, exuberant, uh, ready, just, just like eager, you know? It's just a very passionate time, okay? Very, very good. A lot of passion. A lot of passion. A lot of sexual desires. There could be some deep attraction between you and another. That's for darn sure. Which could lead to love. Okay? So I'm going to tell you who we have here so far. We have Capricorn. And we have Leo. And we have Virgo. And we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And that is who I see so far. Either way, there's for many of you... That you're being given, you're going to be shown an opportunity for a new love, okay? It's going to be up to you to take a risk, all right? Are you ready? It looks like you're ready. It looks like you're screaming out, I'm ready! And because you're ready, love's going to come in. If this is for you, okay? If you're not ready, then it's not going to. So if you're ready, then be prepared, all right? I think many of you have already released the past. You have. You've released your past. You've done some forgiving. And the time is now. Okay, whatever came crumbling down happened for a reason, okay, it did. All is not as it seems, all right, we have the moon card here. You, if what you see on the outside isn't necessarily what's on the inside, okay? What you see isn't always what you get, so beware, all right? And I think that you guys have already learned that. You know what's going on here, all right? Um, and I think that, so what I'm, what, I, what I'm trying to say is be open, Okay, when somebody, this person, like I said, is not your usual type. So be open to this person. Don't look at the super superficial side of it, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. What's on the outside isn't what's on the inside and vice versa. What's on the inside isn't what's on the outside, okay? It works both ways. Be open to the possibilities. That's what I see, all right? Um, you're just... <laughs> You're, you're at the end of the road of feeling mental anguish. That's over. Something has ended that had left you feeling depressed, sad, defeated. You know, it felt like you were going through a loss. That's over now. That time is over. It's time for something new. And you're about to start a wonderful new phase of your life, okay? It's like your wishes are going to be fulfilled all of a sudden. And it's really unbelievable okay um, the thing is is that you need to be willing to take a risk oh my gosh you need to be willing okay so it's not what's on the outside like the, coming back to this card here this is a willingness to use your resources but it's it's reversed so you have to be willing to being open to seeing something from more than superficial okay so it's not what's on the surface okay remember that it's not what's on the surface okay look beyond the surface to find your love all right that's what I'm seeing you need to be willing to look beyond the surface look deep okay because when this person comes in if you're single you may you might you know be like no this isn't it but you know if you look beneath the surface and take a risk and, and really communicate and be open you know, this could be the one. All right. It's time to take a risk. I just saw the card. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It absolutely is time to take a risk. That is taking a risk. Starting over. Starting anew. Having faith. You need to have faith, Taurus. Okay? You need to have faith. If you are coupled or going through some hard times with your partner, there could definitely be a resurgence. You know, things could pick back up. There could be, you know, like a makeup, you know, where you guys make up and, and start over because we do have a start over. But for many of you, I don't think that's the case. For many of you, I see a new love coming in. 
Um, and I think that change is definitely on the horizon. I think you're starting a wonderful new chapter because you just learned something very, very big over the past um, year. All right, and you're ready to start a, a new journey. I think one door that closed, it might have closed quite harshly. I think that I think that closed for a reason so that, you know, you could um, experience something better. But the thing is, the, the lesson I see here, that because there, there's a lesson. When the world card comes out, there was a lesson that needed to be learned. And the lesson has to do with superficiality, okay, looking beyond the surface. So that's what the, that's what the lesson is. Look beyond the surface. You guys are stepping out of your shell. Are you ready? I think you are. I think that you have made the universe aware that you're ready. You hit your rock bottom months ago and it's over. Oh, beautiful. Consider your foundation. <gasps> you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. How committed are you to love? How? How much? Are you, is it, is it about what somebody looks like? Is it about what they have? What's it about? It's about love on the inside. How committed are you to love, to finding the right one? That's the question here. I'm going to the book because I can never remember these. Love means to commit without guarantees. We give ourselves completely in the hope that love will be the lasting result. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know that your life will be better for it. Love beyond the surface. Take a risk and have faith. Okay? Have faith. So for many of you, if you're single, new love could be coming in. For sure this week and this person is probably going to love you for who you are on the inside and you are being asked to do the same and you're going to have to take a risk to get to know them you're going to have to take a risk to communicate okay you're going to have to really communicate a lot to get to know somebody on the inside communicate 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 you said you were ready prove it Taurus this is what I have for you I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I will talk to you next week.